Hi everyone, uh, I'm a graduate student from I'm a graduate student from General Assembly. Um, I did a web 12 weeks uh, boot camp and uh, we did web development immersive course. So I spent two weeks learning about Ruby on Rails and four days building this project of mine. So um, this project is called Head Starter. Um, this idea was actually conceived because I wanted to build a collaborative platform um, to crowdsource relevant um, knowledge. So um, in this project, we are told to actually uh, build a database uh, using relationship database modeling and then um, create um, the CRUD, simple CRUD actions, which is create, update, read and delete. So I'll just show you a quick demo of my application. Um, first, you have to log in. Um, and then, give it a Don't worry, in Ruby on Rails, I learned that there's a gem for everything, including um, building a login function, which is quite simple. Um, this gem is actually called device. So in case if anyone wants to learn how to uh, include a login and sign up system, you can actually use the gem called device. So um, in my app, right, um, basically I, I wanted to have like a Q&A platform for primary school uh, uh, questions like this this is actually a good platform for um, parents and um, students to use because i feel that um, nowadays the kids are all very tech savvy so why not build a platform where all these kids don't really have to go through their tuition teachers but they can just go online and find some questions or um, get answers from and crowdsource from from the crowd so uh, in this page right um, these are i have a, a Q&A board, so these are all the questions waiting to be answered. And then um, now I sign in a user as, I'm, I'm Diana, right? Phone bigger. Can you all see? All right. Okay, so this is the question board. So um, let's say as a user, I can click on the question and I can actually answer a question that's on this question board. So let's say um, I, I know that this, this answer and I, I give my solution and then I get to post. And then you can see the answer is being um, posted here. So if let's say I'm a, I'm a user who posted the question, I get an answer from the crowd. And interestingly, I also added this thing called um, Votable uh, Gem. Um, this is called Act as Votable. It's also a gem where you can actually find it. Um, so if let's say this, is, this answer is a good, good answer, a user can also vote by giving a good answer. And for this gem, right, um, the person can only vote once. So you, you can't over vote, vote. And if you feel that this answer is not good, you can actually say it needs improvement. Then, um, Let's say I have a question I want to, I need someone to answer for me. Um, I will just like post, I have a question and da da da. And you can ask, help me. And then it gets posted into the Q&A board. Um, so as a user, I also want to keep track of the questions that I've posted previously in this dashboard and I want to know who have helped me answer it. So I can go to like my question and you can click on the questions you have previously posted and you can see the answers immediately. So it's just a very simple Q&A dashboard um, using uh, Ruby on Rails. And then um, I also have like a profile, user profile page where you can update your password and you can save changes and then you can log out. So um, this project was built um, in four days and I'll just let you know, okay, we are told to actually like, how the process started was we were told to like have an organization tool called um, Trello board. Um, that's where we actually started um, thinking about our, how we want to build this project. So we have like user stories, what are the things that we want to do for this app so we'll write them all down 
and then um, to be organized, we have like a doing list and the, the list of tasks that's been done, so you can actually move them. And then um, after organizing it, we also thought about wireframing it, like how we want our app to, um, how do we want to create our app? How, what's the user experience in the UI? Uh, so we are taught to do wireframing. So uh, because as you can see, this app is multiple pages. So uh, I did a wireframing for different page. And then um, lastly, we also uh, have to think about what kind of gems are available to help us build this app. So I made use of two gems for this application. Um, I used device because um, creating a login from scratch is kind of quite difficult for me at, as a, at the start because I only learned this for two weeks. So device was pretty um, straightforward. It has everything. Once you download the gem into your application, um, it has everything and you just need to modify what you need. And then I added the gem called Act as Votable because I wanted to make sure or ensure that people who post questions and answers, um, there's some responsibility to it. Um, you don't anyhow post a question. So the vote buttons actually serves the purpose of making sure that uh, people don't anyhow post an answer to a question. Um, okay, then for my quotes, right? So um, after going through the wire framing, we have to think about the database. So we learn about relationship, relational database modeling. So that's where I have to start to think, uh, who are, what models do I need? I need a user model. So I also need to know, I also need to create like a question model and an answer model. And then I have to start to think about um, what is the relationship between the users and the questions and the answers. Like a user can post many questions. Uh, a question can only have one user things like that. And then once I establish that relationship, I put them into my code um, under the models here. Um, you can see that that's where uh, the relationship database comes into play. Um, after that, I, I also chance upon this, um, a classmate of mine shared with me this gem called um, Rails Entity Relationship Diagrams. It's a Rails uh, ERD. You can actually find it here. It's quite interesting. Yep, this is the gem. So after I've established the relationship on paper, I downloaded this gem and then when you have created the has many and belongs to relationship, you can use this like a GUI, you know, just to make sure that what you've built is correct. I mean, um, what you've what you've written on your code um, reflects what you have previously prepared on paper. Just to have a quick check, because sometimes the relationship in database can be very complex and complicated. Um, by using this, it helps to um, it helps makes things easier. So this is another gem. Erd you can go and check it out. I think it's pretty useful. Um, after which, right, I've established the database, uh, the relationship, um, everything is done properly. And that's where I, I create my routes, uh, what are the pages that I need. And then I have a controller where I put in my um, seven restful routes that we have seen. Um, and then after I've created the controller, I can start working on my views. And um, I, after working on the views, I also I use Bootstrap. Basically, on my app, you can see um, it looks very nice, right? But it's all Bootstrap. Yeah. So the styling can use Bootstrap. It makes things easier. Yeah. So uh, that's about it. Thank you. Um, no, because um, we are just developers, so uh, our wire framing is just done through paper and pen. That's all. We just draw what we need. But what we'll do is um, you can always draw some references. So I use Pinterest. Uh, even on, um, you just Google and look for 
what are the available dashboard or whatever um, uh, websites that you feel is a good um, place for you to reference to to build your app. I, I think that's pretty uh, useful because uh, then you can use all these websites, right? And you see uh, what are the interesting features that they have and you would like to build them and include them into your application. Yeah, I always believe in building uh, MVP, minimal viable product. Um, get the basics up first and then you work on the features one by one. Yeah, once you get that running, it's easier for you to think about how to improve your application. Okay, this question. I would like to ask something about Cosmo. Have you like explored other deployment options? Oh, uh, I only learned Heroku. We are taught to deploy on Heroku. Oh, yeah. Because I'm also very new to deployment. Yeah, so I want to find out more from you. Oh, mm, do you all know any deployment? We only learned Heroku. We only learned Heroku. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I have a lot of Heroku. You can use the search. No problem. Digital ocean is something that's very popular at White Oh, because it's very hard, I think it's uh, yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Actually I have a question. Can I see your gem file? Like, what are the other gems? Oh sure. Can you I forgot to show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one is clear. Okay, so. So, which one are the, are the ones that you, you put in yourself? Right? Um, I only use three items, which is device for login. I think that's very useful. Um, if you need to have login uh, for your apps. Um, then I used the ERD. ERD was just to help me um, in the building the making sure my relationship database modeling um, is correct. And then the votable gem was just an interesting feature that I wanted to add inside my application. There's really a lot of gems out there, so you just need to Google and find the right gem for you to apply for your application. Um, actually, yeah, I didn't use it. Yeah, it's just that. I think the time my instructor wanted to um, deploy it, something, and then we, we need it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Oh, I wanted to add that. I mean, for Ruby and Rails, right? I, although I learned it for two weeks, I think it's very useful when you want to get started on a small project. It's very good for prototyping as well. So um, for those who have no programming background, like for me, I have no programming background. I think if, uh, I mean, Ruby and Rails will be a good start for you to explore because you can get things started quite quickly. Well, where no, have you done any tests? No. <laughs> I know we are supposed to do like TDD. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty new to this. I've not really uh, done testing on all my projects before. Yeah. But I would love to learn that as well. Yeah. Okay, last, last question. Uh, did you previously use Unicorn? Sorry? Did you previously use Unicorn before changing to Puma? I think it comes with me, right? Um, Unicorn? The gem uh, underneath the uh, Oh. Uh, I think on Heroku, it's, uh, Puma is a recommended uh, app server right now. Um, I think for concurrency purposes, I think for concurrency Puma has better, better concurrency. There's um, uh, in more, you can actually support more users per, per node. Uh, more concurrent users. More people visiting a site. You won't crash. <laughs> okay, yeah, you won't crash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, any, any other questions? Feel free to ask that really stupid question. I always ask the big question anyway. Any other, okay, thank you so much. Thank you.